Now, Russia's defense ministry says Moscow has identified three routes by which Daesh terrorists direct oil into Turkey. The ministry has satellite images which shows oil shipments crossing the Syria-Turkey border. It says more information will be released next week. The ministry added that it has proof that the Turkish president Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his family are involved in the illegal smuggling of oil from Daesh al territory in Syria and in Iraq. Moscow also highlighted that it will continue bombing Daesh's oil infrastructure inside Syria. Tensions between Moscow and Ankara have escalated since the downing of the Russian bomber last week. In an attempt to defuse the tensions, the Russian foreign minister has agreed to meet his Turkish counterpart this week for the first time since Ankara downed the Russian jet on the Syrian border. Speaking on Russian TV, Sergei Lavrov said that he will meet with the Turkish foreign minister Mevlut Cavusoglu in Serbia's capital Belgrade on Thursday or Friday. A former U.S. Senate foreign policy analyst James Dutras joins us from Washington, D.C. James Dutras, uh, Russia has come out saying they have proof. Uh, if their proof is not solid enough, they will look uh, embarrassed. Uh, I'm guessing that they have the, the proof that they have is solid enough to implicate Turkey. How severely would Turkey be damaged from this? I think Turkey is being quite heavily damaged by this. Uh, let's remember that Mr. Erdogan said he would resign if it was proved that uh, ISIS oil was being exported through Turkey and Turkey was complicit. So I guess we could all wait for Mr. Erdogan's resignation because I think it is being proved. Let's remember that uh, unlike some of the rather cartoonish proof that we've seen on other issues, like, for example, the Russian presence in eastern Ukraine from Western powers, which look like essentially uh, drawing mock-ups, the Russians are releasing very specific intelligence and satellite data here showing where these trucks are going. They are going to Turkey. Uh, they're not being interdicted by the Turks, and the Turks are clearly complicit here. Now, uh, it's, well, one th it's, it's one thing for uh, Erdogan to be accused, but Erdogan might come back and say there's some people under him, perhaps, if he was to even uh, accept this uh, allegation, that are benefiting from this. Would, wouldn't that still put Turkey and Erdogan uh, in the guilty uh, frame? Well, Erdogan can say that, but we have a wonderful world, wonderful word in English to describe that. The word is lying. He's lying, and I think everybody knows that he's lying, that if Turkey was not profiting from this oil trade, and indeed, if Bilal Erdogan, the president's son, was not profiting in the companies he's associated with, uh, this would have been cut off long ago. Uh, this also, of course, relates to the transit of uh, fighters uh, across the the Turkey-Syria border that are essential to maintaining not only ISIS, but al-Nusra and uh, Akhral al-Sham and other terrorist groups. James Dutras, thank you. Former U.S. Senate Foreign Policy Analyst from Washington.